Welcome back. Remember, you are watching Artistic Tuesday. That was an amazing performance from the Red Force Girls Choir with Mikali right there. I'm telling you, we are in the festivity season. I am feeling myself with this Santa hat. I feel like clearly missing Santa hat. <laughs> anyway, now moving on swiftly to paintbrush. I'm telling you the caliber of guests we usually have on the show. It's amazing. The diversity. All the way from DRC Congo, we have Bezalel Gambo. Did I say the name right? Yes, that's correct. Yes? yes Good Gambo. morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm fine. I'm great. Thank you. Look mm -hmm. at our set. It's very colorful today. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And it's amazing. It's very fascinating. I don't even know where to begin, but let's start mm -hmm. from how mm -hmm. now you moved from Congo to Kenya. Mm -hmm. When was that? Which year was that? Uh, it was in 2002. 2002? Yes. And when did you start the arts? 1997. 97? Yes. I can't even remember what I was doing in 97. <laughs> if I tell you, you'll know how old I am. <laughs> so uh, oh, I'm not going to tell uh, you. Okay, okay. <laughs> so in 97 mm -hmm. until now, until to date, yeah. yeah? Yes, yes. So definitely those are so many years, meaning you are doing this throughout. Yes. Full time. Full time. So how would you describe the kind of paintings you do? Because they are very... I really don't know how to describe them. What kind of art is this? Uh, this is, um, um, I, I do kind of a mix of uh, abstract, uh, abstract and, semi, uh, and, and realism. Okay. Abstract is the form of art that, you know, is not so obvious to tell, okay? Yes. Just like the word says abstract, it's abstract. And real realism is, you know, it's come from real, you know, something that you're able to relate with. So I sort of like mix a little bit of the two and I do the, the cubism style. The cubism style is where you have some shapes, some forms, you know, cubical forms that you find a little bit everywhere. Like sort of the Picasso, you mm -hmm. know, style. That one is a, it's an African style that Picasso borrowed from Africa. Oh yeah. yeah. So it has, it, it, it's, it's what, um, also, is so much uh, practice in the DRC, and I've, I've liked this time. So that that's what I like doing. Okay. Yes. Since 1997 until yes. date. Yes. Yeah, there are so many things that have happened in terms of even technology. Yes. How hard was it then for mm. art to be accepted and now? Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, the 1997, there were some challenges because you know you you you're able to tell what we didn't have then by looking at what we have today so you know we couldn't do so much in terms of uh, marketing you know um, the visibility of uh, our art could not be so much as compared to today but art was going on well yeah there, there, there was some level of um, you know uh, visibility and and the good thing is that you know art is also progressive true okay it's progressive so and uh, what was available then in terms of material you know uh, in terms of what can help someone to be inspired and and do art was helpful at that time okay but you know with technology we have much more you know that can help someone be inspired and be able to Come up, come up with something much better. All right, yes. all right. Because then, in the, um, we're still in twenty, we are in twenty sixteen. But yes. then you find artists saying that art has not really been embraced fully. Mm -hmm. So how hard was it then to explain the kind of art you do, such like how you just say it's a semi abstract? Um, okay, art has been there since very long time. So people sort of, you know, th those who are interested in art, they have some level of knowledge in art so they could be able to relate with this okay. they could be able to relate with this and um, now again depending on the, the the place the art is presented there are areas where we have more people who are who understand art and the value of the same and whereas there are other places also you know who do not understand so much you know uh, art so you have to explain to them Okay, sort of like introduce, you know, the different style to them. But generally art is known, um, even the different forms of art and styles, you know, people who, people who have a keen interest in art, they understand what uh, the different styles yes. of art are. 
All right, yeah. all right. So yeah. you have so many pieces, and I know mm. as an artist, yes. you always have different motivation and inspiration when you're doing a particular piece. Mm -hmm. So out of all the paintings we have in studio today, which is your favorite? So that we start with that one. Wow, that's a difficult question, but uh, <laughs> I'll try to pick one. They're all my favorites, but right. um, there's one that, uh, that, I, that you know, I'd love to talk about. Um, maybe this one. Okay. Uh, this one is, uh, talks about, you know, can I stand? Is, that, is it yeah, okay? Yeah, it's all I right. Yes, yes. Yes, this is like a woman here okay. who is, um, you know, is, is talking about human beings, okay? The, the title of, the, of this painting is Mind Management, all right? And, um, and you can see the motions going around her head, okay, and their hands and stuff. You know, there's sort of like, she's, there's something that is going on with, with her mind. She's trying to manage her mind. She's trying to put in some new information that she requires to sort of up, 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 upgrade, you know, her life. Just like you can update, you know, uh, a computer or something by putting a new software, software. So, 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 that kind of a thing. Okay. So it's something that we need to do you know, every now and then, you know, to put in new information and maybe remove the old one that are not so good, you know, to have new attitude, new way of thinking, to, to be able to improve your, to your go, way of life. Yeah. Yes. To unlearn in order to learn. Exactly. If exactly. you were to ask me what I can see there, I'll say mm -hmm. this is a woman. Yes. And she's wearing a pico costume. Yes. Because it's, you can, okay, for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a costume. <laughs> yeah. So it's like a tail. Exactly. But it's like. And there was winds, sort of. uh -huh. so it came up to her mind. Exactly. But now that you mentioned about mm -hmm. um, just trying to absorb like new mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. and the hand, so mm -hmm. now I can see the hand. The, exactly. the hand is the one that goes exactly. around. Exactly. Oh wow, wow! Clearly, <laughs> art needs a, space, a very keen eye. Very true. Someone who's very, very observant. So very such true. kind of a piece, how long does it take to make it? Wow! If I have to start from the time I conceptualize as in I get the idea and to the time it ends it really depends uh, like this one maybe I don't think I took less than three months okay because I had to first of all get the whole idea and come up with a sketch and uh, you know a sketch a drawing you yeah. know aside before I can uh, draw on the, on the canvas, canvas. Okay. and then again studying the preparation of the canvas and then there's a lot of collage also on it there's, there's a lot of uh, uh, process that this painting has gone through so it could take that long just explain the process that goes into such a painting okay if you come closer to it you will notice there is uh, okay first of all the the, the style I've used um, it sort of like has some kind of texture, if you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's oil. I've used oil on canvas uh, with the use of a, a pallet knife. Pallet knife. Yes, a pallet knife. Okay. And then, uh, first of all, I have prepared the canvas. I have done the sketching, and I've done the collage. Collage is French for sticking. You know, I've I've stuck some the piece of um, you know African patterns yeah, like and then here. some thread over here mm -hmm. yeah and then uh, I've done the sketch again the lines and then now the painting with the the oil and I've given it a little bit of a small layer of um, varnish just to keep it protected so it's um, this that's is why actually a kitenge material yes it's it's kitenge oh. it's kitenge that oh, is wow. stuck on it that here as well just i can see yeah. various pieces yeah exactly oh wow that's amazing that so such a piece will take you like up to three months yeah or, or more it, it really depends because also again sometime i don't just work on one piece at a time so sometime i can just do up a, a, a bit of it and then i i leave it for some time i work on another one you know, just the time to gain again some more, you know, inspiration on the same. Yeah, so sometime I work like that. Okay, so clearly okay. here you are also trying to unlearn mm -hmm. you as um, as a person mm -hmm. in order to learn. So this is, I'm, I'm assuming that's the inspiration behind this piece. Exactly. So let's pick a different piece. Mm -hmm. we, we find out what is happening during that moment in your life. Mm -hmm. Which one do you pick next? Ah. Uh, yeah, I could pick, I could pick, I could pick which one. 
I could pick this one. Okay. Uh, this one actually, the title is Focus, is a train that's going to a specific uh, direction. You can see the rails over here. Okay. And, uh, you know, the face is sort of like looking intently in one direction. So, you know, a train really does not go in a different direction unless it has been programmed to. Yeah. All right. Okay. So sort of, you know, I like being educative in, in my paintings and, and sort of exploit some very important, you know, aspect of life to try to go beyond just presenting the beauty to the viewers, but also to speak about something. So focus for me, it's something that uh, is very important in life. If you want to achieve anything, um, anything significant, you cannot do without it. You know, you really have to be focused for you to achieve, achieve. the best of what you could. It's true. And uh, what is this? Again, is this still the railway, the railway line. No, this is this is this is okay. The face of a of of a, a lady again, and this sort of like a, a scarf, you know, with African patterns. Which which makes which makes uh, you know the head of uh, if I can use that term of the train. Though, so it's still the train and it's the front of the train. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I could yes. have said this was a bookshelf according to you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's an African pattern. I, you know, I, I like I like African patterns. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because it's original to Africa. Yeah, so I like it to appear in my paintings. Why is it important to you to educate people through your paintings? Okay, I believe art is a means of expression. And um, art for me is, a, 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 some, is, is what God has given me to be able to you know, speak to the public, to uh, address or, or communicate a thought. Yes, yeah, so I like my painting to sort of carry a message or you know, something important that can help someone out there. Amazing. So for someone who's watching you right now, what is that message that you want to give them to inspire them, to push through, to never give up on their passion and their talents? Um, well, what, what I will tell them is that there is a reason that they have that uh, desire, that they have um, that keen interest in whatever, you know, they are, whatever their interest is. So if, 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 if it is good for people, okay, if you have a gift, you have a talent, that will be helpful to humanity, then you should give yourself into it fully, okay? Because there's a purpose for which you are born with that particular gift. Okay. And your yeah. contacts for someone who wants to buy your paintings? My, sorry? Your number, how someone oh. can reach you to be able to purchase one of your paintings. Okay, so um, my work is at my, okay, you can visit my website at bezalelngabo.com. Okay. Yes, so you'll be able to see all my work and my profile and everything. Yes, and my contact also. So I would just advise someone to visit my website, bezalelngabo.com, well. they'll get everything. All right, thank you yeah. so much for making time and making it to our studios this morning. Really appreciate this. Has, thank this you. has been amazing. Mm -hmm. And the set is very colorful. All right, Mikali, I hope you have seen all this amazing work we have in the studio today and you have some Christmas budget for me because I would love that particular one, you know, and learning in order to learn in life. That is a very powerful message right there. We are about to take a very short commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have Mikali with visual ads. So don't go too far. Mm -hmm.